And despite that upset, Tammy, incumbents ruled the day. That's right. Most incumbents did well, Keegan, but not all. 16 WAPT's Bert Case joins us live in the newsroom. Bert, you've got those election results for us. There were no upsets, Tammy. Statewide, all the statewide candidates who were in office are going to go back to the office if they win in November. You yep. got to realize this was a primary election. The general election does not come until November. And Governor Phil Bryant joined a group of candidates last night at the Republican headquarters in downtown Jackson and reminded them that elections are not won in August, but rather in November. And if you will help me, we're going to push on to victory in November, and we're going to finish strong the next four years, and we're going to make you proud to be a Republican, proud to be a Mississippian, and proud to be an American. God bless you and thank you. Brian faces a truck driver who won the Democratic nomination. He's from Jackson. He didn't campaign. He didn't spend any campaign money. As a matter of fact, he didn't even vote yesterday. Why did you run for governor? Uh, just because a lot of people not seeing opportunities that we have, you know, in the state of Mississippi. You know, they they. Due to Medicaid expansion, due to funding public school, but uh, we can do a lot more than that. He told us his mother only found out that he was running for governor when she went in to vote Tuesday, and she told him that she voted for him. She said she hoped he could win. <laughs> An amazing story there, Bert. <laughs> Bert Case, live for us in the newsroom. Thanks so much.